Congratulations in Germany. Fantastic performance between what well, Dimitri winning the tournament. So you're very satisfied with the play at the moment? Yeah, I'm very satisfied. How is it going with uh, the whole German team? It's not just uh, Dimitri and Timo. Great results from both for the last months, um, but uh, the whole team worked well. In the German Open, uh, we had uh, Sebastian Steger had his chance against uh, Jun Mizutani. 4-1 in the sevens. Uh, we had uh, Patrick Franziska against Frank Zedong. Really, he played well in this uh, match. And Ruben Filo's match balls against Chuan. So, uh, yeah, the team was uh, really okay. It was a tough tournament. A lot of strong players uh, played the German Open as well as here in uh, Sweden. So, um, yeah, looking forward. It's uh, always a pleasure to work with the team. And uh, now, uh, yeah, self-confidence is coming back. and. Uh, um, Chinese team is a little bit struggling in the moment, so uh, it's good for all of us. Yeah, of course. I mean, it looks like Germany has really taken the fight strongly to China. And with Timo beating Ma Long, Dimitri defeating Fan Zhendong, what were the tactics? And before the game, did the players believe they could win? Of course, because uh, we know that uh, uh, the Chinese team, they had some uh, uh, troubles. Uh, so uh, it's not that easy that they have to solve this, these problems, these kind of problems, because uh, I think they have some systems problem in the moment. So uh, we knew that uh, they are not in, in the, their best shape. And uh, I knew that uh, my players, they are yeah, they are playing well in the moment. They had uh, quite a lot of tournaments to play. but. Uh, um, yeah, they have a lot of self-confidence, so uh, Timo, with his kind of uh, playing style, uh, he's, yeah, he's on his age from 36, uh, he's uh, doing really well. And uh, Dimitri has power, he can compete with the Chinese, with no doubt, so uh, it was good for us. Yeah, because at 12-12, I think, Dimitri did the big yeah. backhand counter. Yeah. That's a really high-risk shot. Would is that what you wanted him to do? He has to give his everything to win the match? It's very high risk, but it's... Of course it's high risk, but in the end uh, he knows and I know that uh, he worked hard for this ball. He can play, that's uh, not that high risk. It looks like that okay. it's high risk, but uh, uh, in the top level to be on the top 10, yeah. top 5, you have to play like this. Just to put the ball on the table, you will never be in top 10. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he knew that he has to uh, work something out. And um, yeah, he tried. And um, yeah, as I said, with self-confidence, every, everything is quite uh, easy to do. And um, yeah, it was a pity, or would be a pity, if he would lose this one because uh, he was really uh, playing on his top. And uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, we can con continue in 2018 because we have the World Championships in Sweden in 2018 with the team. And um, I think many teams they are thinking now to beat China, and mm -hmm. uh, we are now number three in the world after China and Japan. So. We and all the other teams have just to think about to go to the final. So it means we have to beat uh, strong uh, teams. Last World Championships, we played really bad. Uh, so we have to think about and do our homework. Yeah, you're making a really good fight. I mean, with Timo, when he played Marlon, a lot of players have always said Marlon has no weakness. So are you finding a weakness now in Marlon? He has. Everybody has weakness. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, in the. In the past, uh, yeah, he played well, but uh, he was mentally not that strong. Uh, now he won a lot, so he's mentally quite strong. But we knew that uh, he was practicing not so much because he had quite um, injury in the wrist, we heard. So uh, uh, we knew that uh, they need uh, practice and they need to, to be really top fit and uh, in the World Cup. He wasn't, and uh, Timo knew that uh, he has his chance against Malong in the World Championships. He played fantastic. In the World Championships in Paris, he played well against him. So uh, the kind of game he likes to play against uh, Malon. And uh, I think uh, Timo is not thinking about uh, too much how he can uh, play against the Chinese. He's just thinking about his game and uh, it looks well. He's not injured, he's not ill. He's uh, playing for, for a long time now on his high level. And uh, so hopefully he can play long more. Well, you did a fantastic job, and thank you for your time. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks.